Okay, so we're going to start this quick tour of the antique sale with a look at some of these amazing medals that we have in this sale. So we're starting with these, which are a group of four First War medals. These are 85, and these have come from a house in Bexhill, that's a part of a probate estate, uh, and it's a DCM, a Distinguished Conduct um, for Distinguished Conduct in the Field, so a Distinguished Conduct Medal. Um, he was in the um, motorcycle, motorcycle Machine Gun Regiment, and there's his cap badge, and his ribbons and all, the, all his documents. And there was a letter from him that was published in the, in the newspaper about his time in the desert with the Duke of Westminster in Egypt. And it looks like a really hard life. But at the end he says, I'm in splendid health and spirits and I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Having a really hard time out in the desert. There's a photo of him as well. So it's magnificent group of medals there and that this is what people really like is all this sort of background story um, and you can research these the background to these medals but um, to have it all there is is wonderful there's some amazing medals here so this one here it's not a particularly rare medal it's a Crimea uh, Victorian Crimea medal but this was awarded to someone who was killed in the charge of the light brigade so that's exceptionally rare medal there. Uh, it has the balaclava bar there, which is the, uh, the one for the charge of the light brigade. This next to it here is a second Afghan war medal. So this chap was killed at the famous stand of the last 11 in a walled garden near Maywand in 1878. And that's an incredibly rare medal. The stand of the last 11 is a very famous battle where they stood in a garden to try and protect the regiment's colours. And um, he was one of the people that are recorded as being killed in the garden there. So that's a very desirable medal there. And we have a number of other medals and coins in this sale. Um, <laughs> lot number one is an original Victorian crystal ball, which I've never seen before, but it's in its original box from the Two Worlds Limited corporation in Manchester. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder what they've tried to foresee <laughs> over the years with that one. Next to it in the cabinet here is a collection of these carvings which are all made from coquilla nut. So there are some really good characters here. This, these sort of hunchback figures and there's a little boat there. Most of these are little um, snuff boxes or um, perfume bottles, but quite unusual to see so many in one collection there. I think this is quite good. This is a, just a novelty. So it's, a, a, it's for an electric bell, but it's a hot air balloon. You just press the button on the end of it. Call for your afternoon tea. Quite smart. There's lots of interesting things in these cabinets. We'll have a look at the cabinets behind over here. So this I think is going to be one of the star lots in the sale. This is Dalton Chang um, ceramic. So it's a high fire glaze. It's magnificent under the lights here. Look at the colours in there. All high fired. And it's signed underneath. It has the Chang mark and signed Noak. Wonderful thing, in really good condition as well. And that came out of a house that we cleared near here. It's an ancient Egyptian necklace there, probably 3,000 years old. Interesting thing. What else we got? A little ivory hand mirror here with tiny little mother of pearl and hard stone insects. A lot of work in that. Go along the cabinets here. There's bronzes and silver and Islamic items. Two more drawings by Mr. Doodle. We've had a little 
successful run of drawings by him. So these are original drawings and they have their certificates of authenticity as well. And actually this is a pretty unique, unique item. So a mantel clock, but it has a, a, a symphonium disc player in the top. So I suppose once an hour it um, plays a tune. And while we're talking about symphonium, there's an enormous one over here. <laughs> so, so this is the biggest one you can, you can buy. So this plays these enormous discs here. And there's a whole load of them in the, in the base of the cabinet as well. This is what it plays. And then these little holes, um, there's a, behind this disc, there's a, a comb that, uh, that plays the tunes. So that's an amazing, amazing piece there. So estimate on that's gonna be sort of between eight and 10,000. But very rare things to find. I haven't seen one of those for about 15 years, I think. Um, what else? A very good um, Georgian table cannon there. And these, which are Staffordshire, very small size these. Um, and these are actually bought at Samson and Horn in recent years, they're a top retailer in London. They were £2,600. Incredible. The estimate is about six to eight hundred. Uh, oh, well, these are good. Fantastic. Golden Arrow racing car there. So it's got its original box there. A mahogany body colour, but it's obviously made in Bakelite, I suppose, this one. But really good thing. Very rare to find them with the box as well. And next to it, another tin plate clockwork car as well. And this up here, look at this painting here, it's almost photographic detail here by Adrian Harmond, 1887 oil painting. So much detail. Um, here's another Symphonian as well, slightly smaller size one here, more manageable that. <laughs> Same principle, still plays the discs with the, you take out the discs, it has the, the combs behind that it plays on. And these all work as well, so that's good. So we'll just pause for a second, have a quick look at some of the mid-century now. This is more uh, of our mid-century section. So this is on the Friday in a couple of weeks' time. This sofa is by France and Sons, which is um, very good quality sofa there. And next to it is by Ernest Race. So this sofa and armchair has its original upholstery, which is the exceptionally rare thing on this. But that's a lovely mid-century piece of furniture. And then we have Cotswold Bureau here, which is very good quality as well. And then at the back here, another piece of Cotswold furniture is this sideboard, which is a fabulous quality thing. These sort of um, hexagonal feet on there as well. And then this pair of cabinets, my favourite of all the mid-century, these are by Hundervad, which is a, uh, from Denmark. So these are sold as two separate lots. So there's this really useful wall unit here with drawers underneath. And then, and then this has a drop front section with more drawers and shelves inside, and you can use that as a desk. All in rosewood. And then this is a separate lot as well but by the same, that's by Hundervad as well. And then all of these ceramics and glass items here, all past the mid-century sale. 
quite a lot of artworks and lighting and well worth having a look through the website. There's a Danish rosewood dining table as well. Chairs are separate lots, but this, um, this is, that's Danish, I like that. And this magnificent poster here is 1929, <coughs> excuse me, and it's advertising the America's Cup. It's an original poster. Should be six to eight hundred, I should think, that one. And speaking of posters, got a whole run of these, <coughs> which are from the National Savings Committee. These are their original posters. And they're quite affordable things, these. They're generally between 50 and 100 pounds each. They're quite nice. And actually, while you're there, on that shelf above, these wood sculptures are by Brian Wilshire, who's very well known for these sort of three-dimensional wood sculptures. He's a very well-listed artist. There's loads more to look at as well. So what we'll do, we'll just hand over to Will to have a quick look at some of the watches and jewellery. So at the start of the jewellery and watches section, we've got a really nice run of Danish modernist jewellery. Um, we usually have quite a, lot, quite a nice selection in the sale, but um, we've got quite a few nicer pieces this time, um, namely by um, George Jensen, who's obviously a, a well-known well name, um, and the first, um, I think, 10 or 15 lots are quality pieces of Jensen, namely this um, bracelet here, which was made by, um, or designed by um, a name called Torun, and this is a piece of rock crystal in the front, and it's sterling silver, and that will probably be between four and six hundred pounds. But a really um, classic Jensen bracelet. Um, we've got all sorts of other things like um, amoeba <laughs> style brooches with enamel, and we've got rings as well. All just really stylish um, vintage pieces of jewellery here and a butterfly pendant necklace as well. And then the, coming on to the more um, normal parts, it's um, his classic daisy pattern jewellery as well, which um, we've got a few of the makers here, like Anton Mickelson and Volmer Barner. But some really nice um, Danish jewellery right at the beginning of the jewellery. Um, some other more interesting things as well here. Um, a lovely diamond brooch at the back here, which is Art Deco period. Um, it's platinum or 18 karat gold and um, diamonds. And this one is retailed, it's in its original box, um, which is labeled Tessier, which is one of the names to look out for with jewelry. And this is probably going to be between four and 600 pounds again, but a beautiful Art Deco brooch. Pardon? 600. Yeah. Wow. Amazing quality. Um, another interesting piece, which you probably won't see anywhere else. This is Garrard, and this is called their um, Wings Collection. So this is solid 18 karat white gold, fully encrusted all the way around with brilliant diamonds. Extremely flashy piece of jewellery. I'm told this um, retails for around £14,000 when it was new. <laughs> um, it's in auction for 1000 to 1500 And I think there's around three carats of diamonds in there as well. But a really beautiful large ring there in its original box. Um, some other Art Nouveau brooches here. This one's Scandinavian again with an opal and rubies and pearls. This is quite sweet. I haven't seen one this small before. And this is um, in its period as well. So it's, it's um, unmarked gold with a tiny, tiny old cut diamond in the center as well. But the best thing about it is then it's, it's in a fitted box. Just a really sweet piece of jewelry there. Um, we've got diamond tennis line bracelets and other Art Deco pieces of jewellery. This ring's quite fun. Um, it's, you probably can't see it, but it's, um, you'll have to trust me. It's um, set with all different um, 
colours and hues of diamonds. Um, naturally, they, they will have been treated, but um, just really unusual piece of jewellery, again. Um, other things as well. Fully encrusted diamond and pearl brooch. That's a real statement piece. These are all best things to, to look online for, but pointing out the best bits here. Um, the next one here, 577, a really nice moonstone pendant necklace. And that's arts and crafts period. Beautiful piece. People were really um, hotly contested in, in moonstone pieces of jewellery. And we've got tons of really nice gold pocket watches. Um, all from a single vendor. The main ones to point out are uh, these two here. So if I take this one out. Um, so these are what's known as repeating pocket watches. So um, they chime the time. Um, and this one is unusual because it's, it's called a jump hour pocket watch. So the hour aperture is at the top there, which is at the moment is at number two. Um, and this is a, just a single dial for the minutes. Um, and then when it gets to the hour, the, the aperture at the top will tick over to three and so on. <laughs> um, and this is by a company called Breguet. And let's see if the repeater is working on this. That's right. <laughs> and that's, uh, I believe, an 18 karat gold as well. But a really rare um, timepiece, that one. And I know I say it's rare, but we've got another one <laughs> right next to it. But it is from the same vendor. Um, and this one has rubies and diamonds encrusted into the front of the case as well. Look at that. Um, this one isn't a jump power dial, but it's still by Breguet. And it's a repeating pocket watch as well, again. Can't imagine what these would cost to, to buy brand new nowadays. <laughs> um, but we've got plenty of other good names. We've got um, Vacheron and Constantine. Um, Benson and Co. pocket watches, which are um, solid gold. We've got a nice boys um, Rolex Oyster as well, right at the beginning of the watches. Just some really unusual and fashionable pieces of white gold long jeans, usually in stainless steel. And this one's Art Deco. Some really brilliant pieces. You, you have to have a look online. Um, it's the best way of, of going about it. So um, yeah, please do take a look at the catalogue online, submit your bids, and we'll see what you get. Thank you very much.